Today we're distilling rosemary and the steam distillation system. There's the burner and the water that heats up, rises up, goes through the bio flask that contains the rosemary, as you can see. Get a little close up of it. There's rosemary inside through the flask system, over, across, and down to this part that has a double wall on the tube on the left. And you can see the oils dripping down through the tube. And it is uh, surrounded by cooler air that is provided by cold water from the faucet. The oil drip down the center tube and over to the right the water is dripping down and that's the hydrosol that comes off as the water vapor is collected in a separate container which I'll show you in just a minute. I'm hoping to get a good blast of the hydrosol coming through for, whoop, for you. Wrong direction. Sorry if I make people dizzy. Not my intention. better in focus. There we go. There's a little bit of water coming down. You see the bubbles? Well, the rosemary is done for the essential oil and it looks like that we have about 12 ounces of hydrosol here out of the final batch. And the oil Hasn't been drink in there. So it's quite a bit of oil. You see where the bubbles are? Well, that's the lower mark on the oil and then the real salad oil at the very top. But that's going to make for quite a bit of essential oil for one um, bio flask, which is a two liter bio flask. That's what this holds. So that's a pretty good, uh, it's uh, interesting to see what each of these different herbs or plant materials make as far as essential oils and hydrosol. Uh, what we end up getting is different on each one and so it's always...